Pineda. The following documentary is intended for public awareness. It shall not be reproduced nor merchandised without permission. This is my island in the sun, where my people have toiled since time begun. I may sail on many a sea, her shores will always be home to me. O island in the sun, willed to me by my father's hand, all my days I will sing in praise of your forest, your waters, your shining sand. Fresh water is a finite resource, which is fundamental to all life on Earth. And it is important that steps be taken now to preserve our water resources. By sensitizing our young people, they can begin to practice water conservation from early on while encouraging others in their communities to become involved in water sustainability. Words of Wisdom by RBTT's Regional Manager with Cooperate Responsibility, Anna Maria Kerbanali. Grenada's water supply is managed by the National Water and Sewage Authority, NOWASA, with approximately 230 employees overseeing 26 water treatment facilities across Grenada. The largest plant in Grenada is the Annadale Water Treatment Plant, located in the parish of St. George. Annadale got its name from the branch family's Annadale Estate, which in its heyday produced nutmegs, cocoa, bananas, citrus, and was one of the largest growers of coffee in Grenada. The Annandale plant supplies approximately 2.2 million gallons of treated water per day to large areas of St. George Northeast, large parts of the town of St. George, and major sections of St. George South. The Annandale plant operates 24 hours a day through three eight-hour shifts. Surface water to this plant is supplied by a dam on the Annadale River, approximately two miles away from the plant. Rivers are usually dammed at a point where there is the lowest probability of contamination. This dam is located next to the Annadale Forest Reserve. This dam has a middle and inner chamber for straining the water of debris. The water then travels to the plant via pipes that are connected into a single 12-inch pipe. At the plant, water is injected with chlorine to kill bacteria, a process known as pre-chlorination. This is done before it reaches the 110,000 gallon reactivator. This reactivator has a spin cycle. By mechanized operation, white lime is added to reduce the acidity of the water and the coagulant aluminum sulfate is added. When this coagulant combines its positive charge with the negatively charged dirt particles, they clog together and sink. Water then travels into the three rapid filters. Each has a middle chamber with a media bed. This consists of a layer of sand, a layer of activated carbon or anthracite, and a layer of chipped stone. This stops small particles and allows clean water to pass through. 
The filtered water is then sent to the chamber at the top of each tank. The top chamber of each tank has a capacity approximately 7,700 gallons. Later, on its way to the clear well, it is injected with pressurized chlorine, which is colorless but has a strong odor. This process is known as post-chlorination. Contrary to popular opinion, the presence of chlorine does not give water a white look. This is actually caused by air bubbles in the water lines. The clear well, which has a storage capacity of 250,000 gallons, stores treated water, allowing the chlorination to take effect before water is made available for residential and commercial use. Nawasa spends approximately 2.5 million EC dollars monthly on ensuring a continuous and safe water supply to its customers. Therefore, let us continue to practice the following water conservation tips. Turn off taps while brushing your teeth and save 25 gallons a month. Turn off tap while you shave and save up to 300 gallons a month. Turn off shower while washing your hair and save up to 150 gallons a month. Check for dripping faucets and leaking pipes. Fixing a leak can save 300 gallons a month. Reduce the flow level of the taps at school to optimize use. Soak your pots and pans instead of letting the water run while you scrub them. When buying a washing machine, ensure that it offers cycle and load adjustments. Collect rainwater for your kitchen garden and household plants. Drop tissue used for drying hands in the bin instead of flushing and save water every time. Share water conservation tips with people you know. Sure that 